Hiya Tom, it's great to see you again up at the range yesterday. Just a, re a quick recap on the work that we did. Now before we get into your swing, the one thing I'd like to discuss, I'll stress again, as per the discussion yesterday at the range, is the swing has improved. And I think that's the main thing you boys have got to realise, you're a better version of the player you were this time last year. Sometimes you can get a little bit bogged down in trying to get the swing too perfect. We are going to tweak your swing. You're going to be continuously tweaking your golf swing for the rest of your golfing life. So it's key that you be able to separate working on your swing and playing golf. The time's come to start accepting that you have improved. It is better. Have a little bit of trust in yourself. Get out there and shoot some low scores. If we have a little bit of look at the work that we did, one of the things we mentioned to improve your ability to exit lower or further your ability to exit lower, the thing we've got to do is stabilise the upper centre. We can see here, as you take the club back, there's a tendency to just dip forward and move into the golf ball. Now, usually when a player dips forward and moves into the golf ball, that's a sign that that player is either left tilting too much or extending too much. So what we're looking at doing is regulating the rate at which we left tilt and extend on the way back. From that position, we've now got to stand up a little bit as we come into the ball. You can see there as you stand up, the club gets stuck a little bit underneath you still. And as a result, your arms work away from your body. So even though you don't stand up in relation to where you were at address, you do stand up in relation to where you were at the top of your backswing. So the tendency is to move up and back. When you move up and back, the hips come in, the spine extends too early. So we look at your left tilt. Excuse me. If we look at the left tilt that you have at the top of your backswing, and compare that to the left tilt or forward flexion that you have through impact, you can see that there's been an increase in that flex angle. Now, when we look at Charlie Wee, we see a much more consistent flex angle. So I'm just going to get Charlie up for you. Forward flexion and address. Head very steady. Turning, extending and left tilting at a good rate. Forward flexion the same. Now as he starts down, again, upper centre very stable. Again, forward flexion the same. And that forward flexion is maintained throughout the swing. With yourself, as we've just discussed, forward flexion, a little bit too much maybe on the way back, but then increases, or decreases should I say, on the way through. And then in the follow through, again, we tend to come up and off the shot very quickly. Now, aside, that is usually a sign that things have been going wrong during the backswing. We can see with Charlie Wee, he's going to maintain that flex forward much longer during his swing. The best drill for you, Tom, as we did yesterday, get that head up against the wall, make some swings, stabilise the upper centre and condition your body to left tilt extend and turn at the correct rate on the way back then return to forward flexion extend turn and right tilt on the way through when we stabilize your head towards the end of your lesson you're hitting some great shots but as i stressed before it's time to get out there and play you're hitting the ball much much better your launch angles improved your club head speeds improved and your overall shape of shot has improved. So get out there, get something warm. Good luck for the rest of the season. And I look forward to working with you on the 21st. Well done, mate.